Well, we're going to home. We're, we're on, Lonnie. We're actually on we're live. TV. It's, it's live television, people. <laughs> when someone, they say go in my ear, it means we talk. It means we talk, Lonnie. I oh. know you haven't been doing this very long. No, this you is, know what? You're new, but you're hello. good. But you're it's good. Man. Welcome to Thanksgiving Eve, a celebration on CBS in New York. A lot of us spend the night before Thanksgiving, of course, prepping the turkey. But the people at Macy's spend it out here on the Upper West Side. And this has become a tradition, right? Yeah. If for New Yorkers, they come out, they watch the balloon inflation, they watch the parade tomorrow. Now, speaking of watching that parade, the balloons that are going to be marching down are behind me right now. Now, look, they're fully inflated. They're tied down by the big nets, but they are ready to roll come tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be good, but what's the weather going to be like? That's Ooh, the, the weather. Question. That's what we should talk about, a little weather action. Here's the deal. If you take a look at the forecast, it's a great one, okay? I see no problems out there. High temperature, about 54, so it's mild enough. Okay, but if you look at the wind problems, they'd have to be blowing at 25, 30 mile per hour winds. I don't see anything like that. I see winds that are maybe five to 10 miles per hour. It's it's about 45 degrees to kick off the parade. It's about 52 by the time the parade ends. 54 for a high temperature of the day. Your Thanksgiving forecast, that's it right there, gang. It is a good one. All right, thank you, Lonnie. You and of welcome. course, the police presence will be increased this year with the return of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. At the entrance, all visitors will have their bags checked. Face masks and vaccine cards are new requirements this year for the parade. Street closures started this morning with barriers keeping traffic away from the large crowds. And there will be more street closures tomorrow morning. You're going to see hundreds of cement blocks, sand trucks, blocker vehicles. You'll see our explosive detection canines. You'll see our heavy weapons and observation teams. You'll see our bomb squad response teams, as well as radiological and chemical sensors. And we have over 300 extra cameras deployed along the parade route. The NYPD says that there will also be a lot of safety measures going on behind the scenes. Of course, they never tell us exactly what those are so that they can maintain their cover, keep us all safe and sound. And this year, the parade will also feature six new balloons. New Were you aware of that? I, I, I am now. No, actually, I was reading a little bit up on it. Uh, Do your girls ever watch that show, A to Twist, Scientists? About the little scientist kid. I, I She's really smart. I will, it's tell on you, I will tell you yes, but I don't really follow a lot of it. <laughs> okay. Well, Ada Twist Scientist is one of the first balloons. She's wearing her lab coat and has a pen tucked behind her ear, ready for research. Ada is four stories tall and as long as seven bicycles. Next up, flying down the parade route from a galaxy far, far away, is Grogu, also known as Baby Yoda yeah, from the popular Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. Grogu Grogu is one of the widest balloons on the parade route this year with ears measuring 37 feet wide. To give you an idea, that's as wide as seven taxi cabs. Pokemon is celebrating its 25th anniversary with a new balloon this year. Popular characters Pikachu and Eevee are riding on top of a sled that's 48 feet long or the length of eight bicycles. And everyone's favorite, Ronald McDonald, returns to the parade this year. This is Ronald's fifth design since he first appeared in the parade in 1987. This year, Ronald stands three stories tall. Next up is Tony the Band Leader Bear. The balloon was named after parade pioneer Tony Sarg and stands three stories tall. And last but not least, Tiptoe, the first ever balloon puppet to march down the parade route. The puppeteers can help Tiptoe nod her head and move her legs as she makes her way toward Herald Square. That is pretty interesting. So it's actually like it's a moving puppet. It's a moving puppet. And, and you can watch these and all the other balloons float down the parade route. It all starts tomorrow again, like I said, around 9 o'clock in the morning. Weather is going to be perfect outside. The, par the parade begins at West 77th Street and Central Park West. It then heads south to Columbus Circle and then spins around the circle and turns on the Central Park South. And from there, the balloons and floats march down 6th Avenue until they arrive at Macy's Herald Square. Ta-da! The end. The end. And speaking of Macy's, we want to bring in someone very special right now if we can. This is Kathleen Wright. She is the production operations director for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Thank you so much for being here. What a per, what a production. I mean, to be in charge of something like that. Do you work all, all year long for this one day? We do. And I mean, I have an incredible team behind me and an incredible team that works on this. And we are all just so proud to be a part of it. It's, it's so wonderful to be able to work on Thanksgiving all year round. One of the things that we heard so many times out here this morning was, wait, they don't 
just inflate in two minutes? I think you have this idea in your head that the balloons just expand into life, but this is a pretty task, this is a pretty arduous process. It takes some time. It does. We have an inflation team that works here all day. All of our balloons are, are a series of multiple balloons. There's different chambers, as we call them. So Pikachu's wow. head might be different than Pikachu's ears. So that's why it's a little bit complex. It takes a lot of care to make sure that we're inflating each balloon chamber to exactly where it needs to be inflated to. And this is a pretty big job, these balloon handlers. They're balloon engineers, essentially. I mean, how do you prep for a job like that? So all of our balloon teams go through trainings. We do both field trainings and classroom trainings. We make sure that everyone knows how the balloon should fly. Different wind conditions mean different flying heights. So we make sure that everyone feels comfortable flying our balloons no matter what the weather is. I can, I can morning. jump in on this Please. one. Okay, the thresholds, are, we're not even going to be, be close to it. Your, your balloons will fly. Now right now, a little breeze, you feel it right there? Mm -hmm. I think that's going to back down as you go through the overnight hours. I think the balloons will fly full tilt tomorrow. There have been years, okay, one year they were canceled altogether because some big winds out there. But there have been years where we had to bring them down lower. Not tomorrow. I think everything's stacking up for it to be a great day. There's probably music to your ears, right? Oh, I am so excited. I mean, to just bring this event back to New York City and to bring a full parade route back and to be able to fly our balloons nice and high tomorrow, I think it's going to be a perfect, amazing day. And wasn't it just to see all those people back out here again tonight? And it's that Thanksgiving in New York City feeling. Yeah. It truly kicks off the holiday season. And it was, it was in full force tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. There's nothing like it. I think that this event is so special. It's such a fun way not only to kick off the holiday season, but to kick off the parade and to yeah. celebrate the balloon, celebrate New York City. It's an amazing tradition for so many families, not only to watch the parade, but to see the balloons get And it's inflated. a bucket list kind of thing. I had a yeah. lady, did you hear the woman I was talking to from Honolulu? She and her husband flew here specifically for this, for, for your balloons in the parade. It's probably like asking you to pick your favorite child, but do you have a favorite balloon or can you kind of give us an inside scoop here of which one you're really excited about? I think I'm most excited for Ada Twist. Yes. I'm really excited to see that new balloon fly down the route this year. She's so cute. She's a curious little scientist. I think it's a great balloon to add to our lineup this and year. she's such an inspiration to so many little girls. Exactly, exactly. Kathleen Wright, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you all so the much. hard work that you put into this every year. It's, it's magical and it, it means so much to so many families. Thank you, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's thank have you. a parade. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. <laughs> <No> parade. <laughs> thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank you. All right, good enough, guys. I got to say, the Macy's Parade has been synonymous with Thanksgiving for nearly 100 years. Yeah. I mean, it just says Thanksgiving. It t absolutely says Thanksgiving to people all across the globe. And over that time, it's gone from wild animals, believe it or not, to mega floats, to a balloon theft by plane. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer looks back at the history of the parade. the splendor, pageantry, and helium-filled magnificence. A million people line New York streets to see the annual Thanksgiving Day Parade. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade started in 1924, and then it was only two blocks long. These animals weren't made of rubber. They were on loan from the Central Park Zoo. Interestingly enough, by 1927, they stopped with the zoo animals because they scared the children along the way. Originally known as the Christmas Parade, it was a way for the nation's largest store to give the season of shopping a jump start. Culminating with uh, Santa Claus at the very end of the parade, unveiling the holiday windows on 34th Street. The first Saint Nick was less jolly and wasn't spooky at all. In fact, the image that we have of Santa was created in New York City. In 1823, New Yorker Clement Clark Moore wrote about the white-haired, red-suited man that we know today when he penned Visit of St. Nicholas. You might know this poem by its more familiar title, The Night Before Christmas. In 1927, we saw our first balloons. You know the engineers that created them were called balloonatics? They quickly became the stars of the show. Now remember, this was the 1920s. The age of aviation was just taking flight. So at the end of the parade, the balloonatics just released them into the wind. The thought was if we released them and there was a return to sender uh, label on them, they would come back to Macy's. Except instead of waiting for them to return to the ground, a student pilot named Annette Gibson tried to wrangle Felix the cat while it was floating. It got tangled in her biplane and crashed. Fortunately, both the pilot and co-pilot survived. Macy's never released a balloon again. With a series of enormous inflated figures representing famous historical and screen personality. Over the years, the balloons have thrilled children and adults alike. The first balloons floated close to the ground. 
Even then, their enemy was the wind. Since then, they've gotten bigger and bigger. Some balloons reach six stories high and require 100 handlers. 1991, Kermit the Frog even got snagged on a tree at Central Park. You consider how wide Central Park West is. Pretty wide compared to some American cities, but how wide the balloons are. The only time the balloons were grounded because of wind was 1971, but the parade kept kicking. In fact, the only event to ever stop the parade was World War II. Even last year, the pandemic kept the crowds away, but not the celebration. While balloons have been the stars, from the beginning, the workhorses have been the floats. Once just cloth covering a truck, floats have evolved into something more sensational. You see something that is so quintessentially New York. You see the New York City streets. You see the crowds, the excitement, the marching bands. It is such a celebration of the season. New York is such an amplifier of great things, <laughs> and uh, certainly this parade is no exception. From Felix the Cat to Tom Turkey to Santa Claus, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade embraces tradition, and tradition is what brings people together. Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. Wow, it's incredible when you see how far we've come, right? And the lady who tries to steal the balloon with her plane. Hey, you It'll know what? Figure. All right, coming up next, we are taking a look at some of this year's new exciting floats, including the longest float ever built for the parade. Longest one ever, gang. Got to check that out. So stay with us right here on CBS and New York. We'll be right back. Thanksgiving Eve, a celebration is sponsored by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places.